Hi dear cricket fans, welcome to Cricket Happenings and we are looking at the third day's play in the fourth and power test match between Pakistan and England and well, now I would say England are just, uh, uh, I would say just uh, minute, not minutes away, maybe a one day away from actually clinching victory in this particular test match and actually taking the series uh, 3-1. Well, today the, um, it all it all boiled out to uh, how much England would be making with uh, uh, Jonathan Trott and Stuart Broad at the crease and well both of them went on to actually uh, shatter uh, a world record partnership in fact uh, th there was a world record partnership uh, in the name of uh, Basi Makram and uh, Saklain Mustag who did it for Pakistan against Zimbabwe 14 years ago but that that record today uh, was broken so now Jonathan Trott and uh, Stuart Broad actually uh, got 332 runs partnership for the eighth wicket which has become the highest ever in test cricket so that's what they did today and well uh, in the end uh, Jonathan Trott also missed his uh, double century uh, if he would have got it he would have been the first person in the annals of test cricket to actually score uh, two double centuries at Lords as you know Jonathan Trott already has one double century but well uh, today uh, uh, that was it in fact uh, Broad was the one who was the first to go today uh, Broad and both of them played some very good offside strokes but Broad was gone, LBW ball side Ajmal for 169 of 297 balls with 18 fours and 1 six. And what Stuart Broad has done is his, uh, his, his uh, father, Chris Broad, would have been very proud of it because uh, Chris Broad's highest score in Test cricket was 162, and his son here already has scored 169, his highest Test score. And that uh, Jonathan Trott was dismissed for 184, and Wahab Diaz got, got him caught behind. Uh, of 383 balls with 19 fours that was a marvelous effort from Jonathan Trott and Stuart Broad and then uh, well Anderson uh, departed for six of the bowling of Saeed Ajmal Stephen was not out or not 446 all out for England Mohamed Amir um, uh, had figures of six for 84 and uh, well I'm not going to get, read into the other figures as uh, what happened Pakistan uh, replying to 446 were bundled out for 74 some splendid bowling I would say it was splendid bowling but also I would say there were some rank bad batting from the Pakistani batsmen which really they got bundled out for 74 in 33 overs in their first innings and at close of play on the uh, third day Pakistan are 41 for 4 in their second innings so it's a huge task for them now they are following on in the second innings and they have a huge task in front of them uh, because 370 they wiped off 74 if you remove it was 300 and uh, uh, probably coming to 370 they wiped off 40 out of it so another 332 still to get for Pakistan and that is going to be a big ask for them well let me just uh, read out the riot act here as far as uh, Pakistan is concerned well there was there were only two people uh, who reached double figures in the first names three people actually it was Salman but who made 26 Azhar Ali made 10 and Kamran Anakmal made 13 but uh, well it all happened with Anderson actually providing them in fact Stuart Broad was the one who was into uh, who was also started uh, shining with the ball when he actually had the uh, breakthrough for England when he had Yasir Hamid this is I'm talking about the first innings where Pakistan were bundled out for 74 Yasir Hamid was caught by Swan of the bowling of Broad for two that was the first wicket the second to go was Imran Farhat Imran Farhat uh, got two outswingers which uh, actually uh, really eluded the bat but this time Imran Farhat was gone as he edged it to prior with the bowling of Anderson for six. That was number two for Pakistan uh, with a score on nine. The third wicket fell at time when Mohamed Yusuf was sized up by the English bowlers and especially Stuart Broad uh, got, got Mohamed Yusuf with a swinging delivery and Mohamed Yusuf was clean bowled by Broad for duck which is very unusual because Mohamed Yusuf is, uh, has impregnable defence. It was very surprising to see Mohamed Yusuf being castled by Stuart Broad for a duck. That was three for... Uh, 10 for 3 for Pakistan it became 4 for 46 after a brief revival with 36 runs run being added by uh, Salman Butt and Azhar Ali but that was it Salman Butt was snapped up by Graham Swan has actually uh, got through his defenses and Salman Butt was clean ball by Swan for 26 of 58 balls with 4 fours and number 5 was Azhar Ali who went for 10 when he was caught in the closing cordon by Cook of the bowling of Swan for 10 uh, of 47 balls with 1 4 Umar Akmal well, he got a spearing yorker from uh, Steve Finn, who actually rattled his defences, and Umar Akmal was clean bowled by Finn for six of 22 balls with one four, and then uh, Kamran Akmal was caught behind with the bowling of Finn 
for 13 of 21 balls with two fours and then Mohamed Amir was LBW bowled Finn for a duck, Wahabri was LBW bowled Swan for two, Zaid Ajmal was not out four in the end, Mohamed Asif was caught and bowled with Graham Swan for a duck, 74 all out Pakistan, I would say it was rank bad batting. Replying to 446, this was not a good effort at all on the part of Pakistan and the bowlers did a very good job. In fact, bowlers uh, really benefited uh, because of the Pakistani uh, batting there and Anderson had figures of 10 over 6 maidens, 10 runs and 1 wicket. Stewart brought 6 over 4 maidens, 10 runs and 2 wickets. Stewart, St uh, Steve Finn, 9 over 4 maidens, 3 for 38 and Graham Swan, 8 over 3 maidens, 12 runs and 4 wickets. And this was, as I said, a very bad batting display by Pakistan in a test match you can't imagine a team getting out for 74 in 33 overs. It really, really doesn't uh, really, really say anything about the Pakistani cricket team, very unfortunately. Well, they had to follow on because 74 all out, so that was a huge task. They had uh, the, the lead was uh, almost uh, 370 runs, I reckon. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was three, uh, 370 runs and out of that, Pakistan by close had gathered 41 for 4. Again, were giving up a bad display there with Imran Farhad playing a very bad shot early on and he was gone when Broad actually bowled a whitish ball to him and Imran Farhad fell for it as he drove a uh, head high held in the air and was caught by Cook with the bowling of Broad for five, 12 balls with 1 4. Yasid Hamid got a beautiful ball from Anderson which swung in and he was plumb in front. LBW bowled Anderson for 3 and then it was. Uh, 29 for 2 from Pakistan and then Salman Bhatt was joined by Mohamed Yusuf and it looked like Salman Bhatt and Mohamed Yusuf will slowly uh, take them to safety but unfortunately for Pakistan two wickets fell Salman Bhatt was gone LBW ball Graham Swan for 21 of 45 balls with three fours and let me tell you Bhatt really played some good strokes of the bowling of Finn with those boundaries but but there was a, a review being done when Bhatt dismissal was gone but uh, well the umpire the third umpire uh, ruled out that uh, basically the ball first hit the pad and then the bat and Salman Bhatt was ruled out LBW ball Graham Swan for 21. Uh, Mohamed Yusuf, well I would say Mohamed Yusuf for his experience uh, he played a very bad shot actually uh, Finn bounced the ball at him and Mohamed Yusuf fell for the pull shot he top edged the pull and Trot made no mistake and Mohamed Yusuf was gone caught Trot ball Finn for 10 of 19 balls with 1-4 Azhar Ali was not out or not when the rain came and well the players trooped off to the pavilion and Pakistan were left with 41 for 4 in the second innings just 6 wickets away from actually losing this match to England and giving the uh, giving the end power test series to England 3-1 uh, well they have one more day to go tomorrow but well what is going to happen because there was some hope in Salman Bhatt and Mohamed Yusuf were there but both the wickets fell at 41 maybe Mohamed Yusuf could have just waited and not played the full shot uh, just because the shadows were lengthening and uh, well the rain came and well right now uh, they are, their, their score stands at 41 for 4 uh, and that is going to be a big ask for Pakistan a real mountain to climb Azhar Ali, Umar Akmal might be the hope Kamran Akmal could do something but again as I said it's a very very stiff task now James Anderson 5 overs 3 maidens 1 for 6 Stuart Bott 4 overs 1 maiden 1 for 9 Steve Finn 3.3 .3 overs no maiden 1 for 19 and Graham Swan 3 overs 1 maiden 1 for 6 sharing the spoils there and well Pakistan let me tell you they are staring down the barrel here and well they are in the danger of actually losing this third end power test match unless and until tomorrow would be the fourth day and unless and until the rain comes uh, and actually rescues them but that also is not going to help because they have two more days left in this match and unless the it's going to be two days fully rained off um, I think it's highly unlikely that Pakistan would be able to save this match yes one thing could be done uh, whether they could actually uh, you know not suffer an innings defeat but again that also looks a bit tough for me unless Azhar Ali uh, just you know uh, just uh, settles on plays a long innings Umar Akmal well uh, in the series you have never seen him play a long innings but Umar Akmal and Kamran Akmal could do something but again uh, I feel that it is going to be a very very strict task I could only wish good luck to Pakistan if they could uh, try to do that but England well they have done a tremendous job they were in deep doldrums as you know the other day 102 for 7 then that partnership of for the world record partnership for the 8th wicket in test cricket by Stuart Broad and, uh, and Stuart Broad and Jonathan Trott it really took it all that's it dear cricket fans for cricket happenings this is Ram signing off thank you